Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Pat Jones Show. I'm Robbie Robertson, along with Oklahoma State head football coach Pat Jones. Cowboys returned home to Stillwater this past weekend and beat Northern Iowa 33-23. And, Coach, congratulations on your second win of the year and the 50th of your career here at Oklahoma State. Well, my only goal in life last week, Robbie, was just to win one more game. I got the same goal this next week. But uh, like I said last night to the media, nothing's going to come easy for this football team. I think we made some progress in certain areas. Uh, and we got a few guys nicked, nicked up and banged up a little bit, which we'll talk about later on. But uh, yeah, I'm thrilled to death with the win. Certainly we've got to get better, which we will. But uh, you know, I think we did some pretty good things. I'm really, really uh, fired up about Earl Wheeler, things he can make happen. Again, he's got to get better in some areas. But, you know, uh, we're making some progress. All right. Pretty big offensive day for Oklahoma State. The defense rises to the occasion in the fourth quarter. You stay with us. We'll have first quarter highlights as the Pat Jones Show continues. It was 89 degrees under clear skies at kickoff time, and uh, sophomore Earl Wheeler made his first collegiate start at quarterback and coach. Uh, Earl didn't seem to be bothered at all by starting his first big-time college football game. I, I, I thought it was a real good frame of mind going in. The thing that we had, I was a little bit fearful of, he would be a little bit tentative and not just go out there and play, but I, I thought he did a good job of things. Northern Iowa won the toss and elected to defer. This is a nice drive we put together here. Uh, again, we, we let him throw here early on. They had it covered pretty good, and uh, but again, we've got confidence in his arm. We've got to find out about him. Uh, draw play, nice move here by, <coughs> excuse me, by Gerald mm -hmm. Hudson. Hudson had a good night. We're going to see a replay of it. Uh, Hudson's a, Hudson's a good player. This I think statistically, this was probably the best game that that he's played to date. Again, he can get a lot better at a lot of things. He had one fumble later on, but I thought he played well. Hard to bring down. Well, 171 yards on the night. He's, he's got ability, there's no question about that. You can see Earl coming back, making a nice throw. Uh, certainly the strength of his arm and, and the quickness of his arm, uh, I think is very noticeable for, for anybody. Uh, Brent Parker took a pretty good beat and he stayed banged up. I'm not sure his status right there. That boy Cecil Wilson, Cecil just blew up one of them. Nice little run, but again, we opened pretty well here. Here's a nice cut by Gerald again. Gonna see a replay of this coming up. But uh, this was a nice drive. Again, we take it and drive it. Uh, about 80 yards and end up getting a, a score out of it, uh, doing a good job of mixing the run and mixing the pass. And, uh, good job, Gerald Hudson. So again, uh, we were a little bit in the dark. There's a nice run by Cecil Wilson on how they might play us. Uh, we didn't know whether they would really crowd us. That They did start blitzing quite a bit in the latter stages. Vernon Brown on the draw, nice cut, hits air. Oh. makes a, Of course, again, he's got, he's got better flat out speed, Robbie, than he's got probably those real just blurring moves that we've seen out of some of these other tailbacks around here. Vernon's got probably as good a speed as, as in the open field as anybody, and he's probably as strong, about as strong as anybody. Nice cut, just gets out in the open field, and simply outruns him for a touchdown. 30 yards for Vernon Brown. Well, again, we've taken it and just moved on down the field. And uh, Again, I had no false illusions about us just going out there and blowing these guys away unless they start throwing interceptions or turn the ball over and fumbling, which they did not do. But uh, we've got them pretty much under control. Uh, come in here and kick off. I didn't think we did as good a job really covering kicks throughout the course of the evening as, as we can do. Blanchard kicked that one right through the end zone. And now we, they've got it, uh, run a little bootleg. We've got things covered here. <clears throat> Johnson, the quarterback's a pretty good football player. I, I, the guy's got mobility, he's got a good arm. Uh, they got some big people in their offensive line. They were fairly good pass protectors. But I, good, good play, George Bright. Uh, I thought George probably showed up about as much as he has. He's a guy that has got to make some big plays. Where we're playing him, he's got a chance to do this. And again, he gets a sack later on for a safety and this sort of stuff. Got a three-man rush. He goes back and hits a little bit. Hit, hits one underneath. We still got to get better. We got to get better a lot of things because they run a trap right here and really don't make anything. Our underneath coverage with, with the young linebackers, they, they tend to get a little bit confused and float around here. And this guy makes scramble with if, if, if Richie Ainsley would have been where he was supposed to, which is a little bit easier said than done with some guys that are inexperienced. Uh, we'd have had a chance there, but good play Jason Gilden. Gilden continues to play well, which is a very, very much of a bright spot to have a boy. Good job, Joe King. Good job, Noble. Uh, they really, they, 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 they weaseled up in there and made a couple of runs. Uh, 
but not anything real dramatic. I thought we played, did a pretty good job of, of playing the running game. We thought coming in that these, these people were pretty sound. They do good things. He comes back, tries to throw deep. We've got it covered. Nice play, man. There's a batter boy. Good job. Uh, force him to punt. Even though they've, they've made a little bit, I think we're, we're moving around fairly good defensively. Kicked the ball out. We've got it down and uh, backed up. But, uh, you know, we had moved the ball somewhat. Uh, Gerald bounces this one to the outside. Makes a nice run here. That boy, Gerald Hudson, making first down. <coughs> we generated. 12 and a face mask, too. Yes, that's right. They had a face mask call. I actually called that one, Robbie. Out of the guy. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, Good shot. Good throw, Earl Wheeler. Good job by Mayfield. These are the kind of things that, that if for us to be as good a football team as we need to be that we've got to be able to do. And we can't turn people loose on the back side there like we did just then. But, uh, uh, again, Earl, good job moving around, Earl. Come on here. That's a good job of not panicking. Throw it in there. Get what you can and get down. I was very, very impressed with Earl, not only physically, but, but mentally he did a pretty good, you see him there blitzing here and we turn a guy loose, and he gets sacked. Uh, the sacks certainly upset us, no question about that. Blanchard comes in and punts the ball down the field. We get a good bounce. Uh, right here, I, of course, we'll talk about this, we'll see it here, just, hey, good job, fellas. We got to kill the ball on the one yard line. <clears throat> now I could hear our coaches yelling on the sideline, watch the pass, watch the pass. This was actually not Mike Clark's fault, although he's the one that it kind of glares at. Actually, Jay Fleshman busted the coverage. This, this youngster here's got pretty good speed. Oh, that uh, still speed. should have you. I throw 99 yards. I mean, mercy goodness, it wasn't anything that they necessarily tricked us on. I think this, this really gave them the, the momentum to probably feel like that they've got a legitimate chance in this ball game, uh, which they did. They come in and, and, and kicked the ball off to us. But that was that that was something that kept them alive. Usually with <clears throat> guys like this, Curtis stumbles, but hey, they're going to be probably about as good as you let them be, and I think we, we gave them a chance. But Gerald comes back again, makes a good cut. Uh, we're still we're acting like we're going to move the football. I'm back here, give it to him again, not much. They stunted quite a bit in the interior throughout the evening. You can see they got some things going there, guys crossing, and we can't pick them up. Earl does a pretty good job of just getting, <clears throat> getting away from the rush, and, Again, getting what he can, but the thing that impressed me probably the most about Wheeler is I didn't really ever think he panicked about anything. Again, he scrambled, and he doesn't have a great deal of running ability, but oh, we should have got that right there. Well, we got a break here as uh, rough and the kicker <coughs> penalty was called, so Cowboys still have it at your own 24. Now, that's right. Yeah, we did get a rough and the penalty, a rough and the kicker penalty, again, with, with Gerald. I thought we, you know, not many football teams really going to be able to take the ball and drive the length of the field, although I kind of thought, we got, gave the impression we might be able to do it. Turn around and <clears throat> pitch the ball to Gerald on the sweep and make some yardage there. Now we're in the power set. Got Kenny Ford in there, give the ball to Gerald on short yardage. He gets a nice, okay, so we got Kenny Ford in here. Again, with our power set and a couple of extra backs. Good job blocking, good job, Gerald. So we, we're moving the football. Again, with the exception of the 99 yard pass, we've played pretty good. It's a way to set and throw. Good job, Brent Parker. First down, Cowboys are moving the ball. First and 10 from the uh, Northern Iowa 46. Earl is not really what you consider option quarterback, although we've got some option game. I think you need to have it to keep people off balance a little bit, but he made five yards. Uh, so good thing. again, the only thing that really upset us was a long pass. End of the first quarter, we're all tied at seven. We'll be back right after this. The second quarter starts with the Cowboys have the football second and five from the Northern Iowa 41. Uh, incomplete pass uh, uh, there, Coach, but you've had the ball a long time here. Well, this is a nice drive. Good throw. Good job, Curtis Mayfield. This is where he got a little bit of a hit pointer, I think, mm -hmm. on this That's play right. right here. That's exactly right. Had to ice it and bring him back in there. Good cut by Gerald. Good move here. Watch him run through the tackles. Mm. Got a replay coming up. Come on, Gerald. You ought to go ahead and score. I, you tend to get a little bit greedy with a back that's got some ability, particularly when you've watched what we've watched for the last several years around here. I, again, just you want him to go score every play, which this guy's got the ability to do that. Uh, and he breaks down to, to the one yard line. What, 86 yards, we're gonna go ahead and score here in a minute. 86 yards and what, 12 plays. 12 plays. Uh, good job of going over the top. Used up boy. almost six and a half minutes on the clock. Good drive, good drive. It, it's, it's not easy to drive 86 yards really against air. Really, without fumbling right, and right. or getting a penalty, I thought we did a pretty nice job of things. Uh, the, the, the extra point is a, a nice operation. Uh, there's the horse, and 
flag and it's 14 to seven Oklahoma State. Uh, here we go, we're gonna kick off to him again. Blanchard, I thought, uh, did a pretty good job of kicking the ball off. And then we've got to do a better job of coverage. We get around him right here, good job attacking. Got him pinned inside the 20 yard line right there. Mm -hmm. uh, Kerry was a little bit off and on kicking, I thought, throughout the evening. They run a draw play and the guy misses a tackle. Michael Woolridge makes a play, but uh, again, I, I can't say I was, was, was displeased with us defensively. Come on, George Bright, come on, let's stay with him in. Guy gets around and scrambles and makes Ooh. a good throw. Good hit by Mike Clark. We should have had a sack, but uh, they come out, run it. Uh, okay, come on, Nobles, wrap him up. We've got quite a few guys zinging around the ball. That a boy, George Bright, that's a way to hustle. Here they're coming back and, and setting, and the guy throws, and, and good, good throw, good catch. We've got to get more disciplined in our underneath coverage. That's the thing that, that tends to irritate me. This guy hit a little bit of a crack and, and bounced outside, but you got a quarterback that's, that can, that's fairly mobile, got a pretty quick arm. We're trying to play, so uh, we're coming up here in a minute, I think we're planning to play some man-to-man, -man and, and a good play, Reuben Oliver, and they hit it, uh, Jason Gildon, there he is. Again, uh, Gildon, uh, Gildon kind of excites everybody. These guys come in, uh, you know, kick, kick the field goal, I can't even, he, yeah, he missed that. No, yeah, he missed that. Missed it. So again, they, they, we've, we've got some people around, although they hit a few passes, fake draw, Throw deep, boy, I thought we were gonna catch this. Golly, right there, guy did a good job of knocking the ball out. But uh, at least we, we, we fired it deep on him. Okay, here we go, and a little screen pass. Come on, Gerald, let's go, let's take it and go score. Just go score, that'll settle things in a hurry. You break one off about 80 yards, but oh, Gerald's got pretty good hands. He can catch the ball fairly well. Cecil Wilson up inside for <clears throat> not much yards. Uh, you can see they're twisting and bringing people and blitzing and this kind of stuff. It's a way to set in there, Earl Wheeler. Nice job of picking things up. Good job, Charles Johnson right, right. there. Again, we talked, yards. you bet, talked about him last week. They had a hold of us right here. I didn't ever think this thing was gonna get called. It was a late flag mm -hmm. there. Finally comes the flag, but it's pass interference against Northern Iowa. So the Cowboys have it at the Northern Iowa 32. See, we're making this pretty nice drive right here. A draw play, not much. Gerald's almost uh, trying to bounce out out of that one. Uh, you, know, you start blitzing as much as they do, and you can't expect it. They're going to make some plays on, on you. Boy, oh, come on, Gerald. See, we're, this, this, he's got to do a better job taking care of football. It's the only turnover I think we had offensively all night long. Turn and, and run the sweep. Yeah, it makes a little bit, not much. That's a way to get around the ball, fellas. I, I never really felt like they could break anything open with the running game, but they've got a little series. A good job, George Bright, of batting the ball down. Okay, here we've got a little three-man rush coming right here. Boy, it's a nice play by Jason Gilder. Repeat of it right here. A lot of enthusiasm, Coach. That's good to see. You bet. Of course, this guy, again, he's a good football player. Again, going to get better. It's a way to stay after him. You can see he's got some speed. That's a way to lay out, get him down, Gildon. That's a way to get excited and come up. And Good football right here. Again, we did that with a three-man rush. I thought we did a pretty good job of mixing uh, three-man rush, four-man rush, and then some, come on, Mike Clark, let's get that ball caught. Yeah, that, I think this gets called, too. That's right. A, a personal foul. <clears throat> So Oklahoma State ends up uh, starting from uh, the 44. Got pretty good field position. Come back, set, play action. Ah, come on, let's get the ball caught. Uh, Curtis had a good day catching. He, he ended up doing a pretty nice job of uh, throwing and catching. Uh, Earl didn't get his feet set. Didn't do anything right there. Here comes the blitz again. Earl's coming back, sets, uh, overthrows everything. Uh, you, know, you gotta hit one. Uh, the, I thought the thing that we had to do going in was let him play ball. Yeah, you know, I really think we probably could have lined up and just run sweeps and, and, and probably won the ball game. But again, for us to be what we need to be, we've got to go play football. And this guy throws out a boy, Jay Fleshman. Good job of batting the ball. This kid's a pretty good little football player. Moving him around, kind of threw that one out there a little bit, but uh, got a nice arm. I, we were impressed with him coming in with what we had seen against him in Iowa State, but uh, did a good job moving around. Cowboys stop Panthers, come in, force the punt. Uh, Come on up here, let's get the ball caught. Thought he might have, he almost came out of this. He mm -hmm. almost came out. We've got the ball on our side of the, of the field. We need to take this and go on down and drive. You just, you're not gonna get that many possessions. Atta boy, Gerald, come on, let's go score. Pick you know, up I'm of 11 for Hudson. Getting greedy with Gerald here. Let's go <laughs> score, hold on the ball and, and take it to the house. I mean, I think that's what separates a pretty good one from a real good one. Okay, let's, come on, Gerald, let's run through those kind of tackles right there. Let's get it and go. Here's Earl coming back. It's a way to set. 
Way to throw that guy made it. This, hey, this was a great play right here by Mayfield. Sure was. <clears throat> to keep the guy from intercepting. They were mixing their coverages up a little bit and they made a nice break. They had one corner that was a pretty good player, I thought. Uh, I thought that had a chance to be called right here. You know, we come in, you know, uh, this is one he missed. Well, this was ugly looking, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that didn't even hit the people in the band down in there. Uh, but yeah, you know, again, Blanchard hit a 52 yarder later on and misses one like that. We got circled right here. At least we've got guys swarming around the football. I, I can't say that they were really didn't. They turn around and give it off again. Good play, Jason Gilman. Come on, men. Come on, let's go. Boom. Uh, Satterwhite, Reuben Oliver. Garmin in there. Garmin, we're playing some guys in here. Come on, George Bratz. This little guy steps up, dumps the ball off. Hold on to him, Richie. Hold on to him. But, you, you know, you, it's somebody that can protect halfway decent. It's got a pretty good arm and pretty decent receivers. I mean, they're going to hit some of this stuff. I mean, I'd like to sit here and say that they're not going to, but that's not going to occur. Uh, okay, they run it. Okay, nothing right there. Chris Calhoun. Between Calhoun, George Bright, and Gildon, we've got a little bit more big play ability. Calhoun's a small guy, but he's fairly mobile. and can make some plays and has made some plays. Uh, we've got our uh, kind of our substitute people in the ball game. That a boy, Jason, stay with him, Gildon. Great pressure here, forces him to throw the ball away. Incomplete. Okay, here we're going back again. He sets. Now we're trying right here is we were trying to play some man-to-man -man underneath, and and they got Mike Clark turned around. The guy did a nice job, nice route through it. Okay, they run the sweep right in here, make a little bit more than you'd like, and they got the ball down the five-yard line. Turn, run the ball up inside. Not much here. So again, uh, they yeah, they moved it better than than we would have liked. But uh, again, I'm I'm not under really any false illusions about anything at all with this club here. He comes out, tries to throw some play action, got pretty good pressure, got it covered pretty well. Joe King on the coverage. Atta boy, Joe. Fourth down. Now they come in, kicked a field goal. Uh, you know, we bent a little bit, but we never did break. So we're ahead 14 to 10 uh, late in the second half. They kick off, uh, how much time's left, Robbie? You, you remember? Less than a minute. <clears throat> I thought this was something that was, was pretty good here. We didn't want to go real crazy and just go bombs away on them. Uh, it, with, backed up, we run a draw, uh, but we do a good job. Earl does a real good job of managing his time and doing some things here that are that are pretty good. He's avoiding the rush. Uh, let's just get out of get what you can, get out of bounds. At worst, let's eat up as much clock as we can. At best, let's get back, let's get our feet set, let's fire that a boy Robert Kirksey. Now we got the ball at midfield. I guess the point I'm trying to make is we take it without running really a two-minute drill right. and take it and hit a pass and get down there and kick a field goal, which we'll see. Nice job, nice throw. That ball's laid in there very nicely. Kirksey showed up. So we've got it at midfield. Now you hit about one more and you got a chance with Blanchard to, to hit a field goal. Earl goes back, sets, makes a nice throw. That'll boy Curtis. Now we've got a chance to kick a field goal down in here. So from the standpoint of of, of Earl coming in and, and managing his time and making a couple of a nice throws and, and nice catches. Mm. Let's get out of bounds, stop the clock. That a boy, we got a chance to get something out of it. So I think that was fairly significant, really, in the development of, of our quarterback. Now, Earl did a good job here just throwing away. We had told him over on the sideline, hey, this, you know, don't take a sack. Only thing we don't want to do is a turnover or a sack, take the timeout. Blanchard comes in, what was this, Robbie, 52? 52. 52-yarder. 52 so it's 17 to 10, and again, they've never really stopped us, and we did a good job at the tail end of the first half. We're at halftime. Cowboys leading by seven. We'll be back in just a minute. At halftime, Oklahoma State out in front of Northern Iowa, 17-10. What, what were you thinking at halftime? Pat? Well, I think that really out of the first half, Robbie, if we don't give up the long touchdown pass, you've probably right. got things going about like you want to. Again, we had had an 80-yard 80, 80 drive, <coughs> excuse me, an 86-yard drive. Uh, we had missed a field goal in there. But really, you take away that one play, and, and it probably should have about, been about 24 to 3 realistically. Of course, again, I'm not under no false illusions thing. We got some things done. All right, Oklahoma State leading at halftime. You stay with us. The Pat Jones Show continues with third quarter highlights right after this. Northern Iowa deferred, so they had the option in the second half. They want to go on offense. Cowboys kick it to them. Well, here again, <clears throat> Blanchard kicks the ball deep into the end zone. They down it. They're fixing to put together a pretty good drive here. Uh, I can't say we really didn't play good. I can't say we didn't really play bad. I guess the guy bounces this from the outside. 
and we've got enough people hustling around the football, which, which is encouraging. Uh, so now they come out and run a little trap inside, make, make no yards. Uh, they hit a couple of third down conversions here that tend to irritate you a little bit. I guess it's, uh, he goes back, sets and throws. And, and again, he, he misses this one. We're real lucky. They just didn't, didn't make a good throw and catch there. But <clears throat> and I've said this before, but if we can stay a little bit more disciplined or underneath coverage, get a hold of him in, scramble stuff, and he throws one wild. Here's one of those third down plays. This yeah. is third and 10. Third and 10 right here. Come on, man, keep your feet. Oh, we've got, see that guy just breezed it in there. Uh, you know, I'm not trying to lay it off on Richie Ainsley, but it was his fault. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, the guy said we bat the ball down right here. Uh, boy, you just, for a young guy, it's hard. People start crossing up in front of you. You, 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 you want to bite up on stuff like that. They break this draw play, and, and Clarence Noble just kind of went up there and fainted, but uh, a four-man rush. They come off, give it off there. He kind of makes a good tackle here, a good hit. Looked like they had made a little something, but they only made two yards. Here's a ground level one right here. Let's see who this is. Ruben I think Oliver this is Ruben. It's a Satterwhite right there. Oh, yeah. Big right. Satterwhite. Satterwhite continues to play pretty good. I, well, this, you know, the guy's got some life about him. And you know, we had a little oh, grab Oliver. a hold of him. Yeah, there's Ruben Oliver right there. I think we had five sacks in this ball game. Now, that's not as many as you'd like, but if you think at all last year, I think we only had nine and a half, mm -hmm. which is you know, staggering. But uh, uh, again, now you can see we've got a five-man rush. We're playing some man-to-man -man coverage right here. Joe King got turned around. Charles Werner got out of position a little bit, and they do a nice job of, of throwing and catching, get down in there. You know? uh, they hit the, the, the third down play in that one pass off, the long pass the first half, and that pass right there, uh, you know, that's not really wasn't in the plan overall, but uh, we just got to get better at those things. Somehow, you know, we can't trade any of these guys and don't want to. We just got to get better at some things. Here we go, we got the ball. Uh, you can see we've got Mike Clark back in there. We used Ronnie Fisher in the second half. We did not use Mayfield because he had a hit point and was pretty sore, although he does come in play for scrimmage. Okay, that a boy, Gerald, that's a way to spin and cut. And, uh, again, I thought per probably this was one of Gerald's better ball games. Again, that's a way to throw your shoulders upfield and get positive yards and, and again, do the things that a good running back's got to do. There's a counter play right here, that a boy, Gerald. Uh, I thought the offensive mm -hmm. line was asserting itself a little bit more here. Well, the, I, it's hard for me to tell. See, the, the thing that happened, Robbie, is early in the ball game, Scott Webb twists his knee, and I'm not sure. I'm afraid right. that might be a little bit worse than, than, than we would have liked. And we end up, we were starting Scott Hall, a, a second-year freshman at guard anyway. So now we, uh, Webb gets hurt. Uh, we put uh, uh, Matt Joes in at the tackle, and you got Scott Hall freshman, Matt Joes freshman, lined up side by side. And, uh, you know, we just got to live with it. And we just got to get better. They're going to make some mistakes, and, and you know that, but uh, you know, that's part of the deal. Nice throw, nice catch. I thought Aiton Kirksey might come out of this one. But again, we're, we're mounting a pretty good drive right here. This is good. Okay, we turn a guy loose from the backside. And they sack Earl. Okay, now we're coming back throw. You can see they're blitzing again. Okay, nice throw, nice catch. Shannon Colbert's first catch. I think it was a startle that he caught the ball. He really didn't know what to do. And we're going to see a repeat of it here. <laughs> but makes a lot of moves here. After that makes he a lot of it. moves, and really, I think, like I say, he just kind of doesn't know where he's going at this point in time. It's the first ball he's caught live since he was El Reno. But uh, there you go, out of boy Shannon, get the ball tucked, protect it, and let's get some positive yards. Uh, we played he and Charles Johnson, both second-year guys, quite a bit here. That boy Earl, well, I thought for just a moment we might be able to hit that. They had nice coverage, and Earl did a pretty good job. Blanchard comes in, 42-yard uh, attempt. Missed it. You know, again, I, I, the, the whys of this sort of thing, I'm not smart enough to figure it out. No yardage right there. You know, Blanchard's a, certainly a very good kicker. Uh, he missed some. The key is we got to get some sevens instead of threes. We, we drove the ball and moved it and had decent enough field position where uh, you, you would like to have gone down there and, and certainly was driven it in and scored, and, and, you, and you're probably going to put the game away. They throw it, dump it off right out here. Uh, okay, that a boy. We played uh, Tracy Price quite a bit in the second half. At linebacker, come on, fellas, let's get some pass rush. There you go, that a boy. We got some people in his face, and somebody bats the ball Saturday down. <clears throat> Stop him. Now they got to come in and punt the ball. We're going to get pretty good field position again. So I, again, the thing defensively throughout the course, the only thing that really, really irritated me is, a, is them getting a couple of big plays on us. Here's play action. Uh, nice job right here, that a boy. That's a way to fire that ball. Good job, Robert Kirksey. 25 yards. See, Earl, Earl is, is, he looks very aware, very natural in what he's doing. 
That's a very well thrown ball. Sure Good catch by Robert Kirchy. Let's take care of it and, and, and get up the field and let's get going, men. Okay, turn around, pitch it to Gerald on the sweep. Uh, that a boy Hudson, there you go. Pick up of eight. <clears throat> Northern Iowa, actually, yeah, it's a pretty good looking players defensively. <clears throat> I thought he was gonna come out of this one. And again, they kind of rolled the dice and, and, and gave us some bad plays, but uh, this is nice. I thought I thought Cecil might go score right here. Uh, coming up, I, I, we did a good job of mixing things up offensively. Nice hole. Good job, let's get up the field, Cecil. Let's take care of that football and let's get it on down in there, fellas. But I, I thought we did some pretty nice things uh, mixing the ball up. Here we go and get hit in the head right here. Now, when we get down in this end of the field, like I say, you get, need to get some sevens. Get some sevens instead of threes and you're gonna be all right. Why, well, I thought he was almost just gonna run by them here on this blitz. Uh, so now we've got it down in here uh, and, and take a loss. Try to throw it away at least, Earl. Uh, just don't wanna take a sack down in there's the main thing, but we did. Now we come in, he hits this one, doesn't he, Robbie? Yes, sir, he does. <clears throat> so again, boy, if you, if you just get, you can see, if you just get a couple of sevens, we'll be in good shape, but we're letting them hang in there. Cowboys lead it 20 to 17. We'll have the fourth quarter as the Pat Jones Show continues. Fourth quarter starts with Pistol Pete walking around and Northern Iowa backed up at their own 12. Yeah, we, they ran the kickoff back. We were lucky we, they, they, we got a clip call and, and backed them up. And <clears throat> here he goes throwing again. This is a nice play here by Jay Fleshman. Good break. Uh, I'd like to just keep our feet and let's go score. We've got a repeat of it here. Again, if they throw it enough times, you got to think that you're going to get a good break and, and, and get a good interception, which we did right here. That a boy, Jay, let's get down that sideline and let's don't stumble. Let's go ahead and get some positive yards and go score. But I thought this was a pretty big play. Again, I think we'd have won the ball game anyway, but at least we've got it back down on our end of the field. Right. And, and then the only thing that irritates me is we can get a touchdown. We decided to go deep. Uh, we'll, we'll hit some of these. Uh, again, that's, that's, that's Earl's. We need a little bit better timing on the thing. Uh, run up inside and get hit in the head, no yards. Uh, now we come back in, throw a sprint pass. Uh, good job right here. Nice throw, nice catch. Curtis almost came out of that and scored. See, we've got the ball down now inside the 15. Uh, you can see Wheeler has got a, he can, can throw the ball on the run pretty good. Uh, you know, a nice he, spiral. He, oh, well, he, he does. he's got a very good arm. And, mm. and again, uh, this is not real complicated stuff, but it's, it's very sound and he's got a good delivery and makes you feel good about things. Turn around pitch, you got Vernon Brown in there. Come on, Vern, that's a nice run. Now we got the ball inside the five. Really proud of Vernon Brown. That was a very good night on, on his part. Uh, good job, Cecil Wilson, kicking things out. Uh, take care of that football and let's go score. But we've got it inside the five. Uh, again, we saw us down at the other end of the field, and now we got the, the power people in the ball game. Now we've got the ball right down on the goal line, right on the goal. I don't know how in the world they did not rule this a touchdown. I, this, this, man, I'm not saying that you, I don't try to officiate too much and didn't hear. Now see, we jumped off sides right. the next play. Had a percentage. Yeah, you got, a, you, you got the ball right on the goal line, and then the guy jumps, which was one of the freshmen, now we're forced to kick a field goal. So that's twice that we've down, been inside their 10 yard line. And instead of 14 points, you got six. And again, you, you kind of allow them to lurk around within striking distance. But uh, again, we just got to, you can't go jumping off sides on the goal line. Now you got to cover hmm. kicks on this. Oh, Brad McComb got pinned inside. And safety, good job, Joe King. We got to do a much better job of, of covering kicks and do some things here. He goes back, sets out a boy. That's good pressure right there, Reuben Oliver. Uh, there you go. You know, they, they, for these defensive linemen, sacks are fun. You know, that's, that's a real big part of it. Somebody's going to put, I don't know how many passes they attempted, quite a few during the course of the evening. We've got Roland Scott in the ball game. We're trying to keep some fresh pass rush guys in there. That a boy, Reuben, but uh, this is good. Like I said, we've got, we're coming with a three-man rush. They run a draw. Uh, good job, fellas. That a boy, Ainsley. Okay, coming with three-man rush again. Run a little bit of stunt. They turn Gildan loose. Come on, Chris Calhoun, that a boy. Chris, that a boy. Jason Gildon actually fumbled the ball. <clears throat> now we've got him stopped. A good defensive series. Come in, force the punt. We're going to have good field position again. Uh, that a boy, Mike. We got the ball to 35 yard line. Uh, come back in. Here you can see, try to run a counter play. Uh, Gerald does a pretty good job. Let's go here, Gerald. Uh, you see the two freshmen in. One of them misses a guy right there. He gets a hand on Hudson. But uh, now, boy, if we just take it on down and score. Let's set, throw, 
Good job here. Oh, I thought he was going to come out of this one, too. If he can get the ball to this guy enough times, which, which we have, something good's going to happen. No question about that. He's probably going to be sore, but I always showed some real courage going back in and, mm -hmm. and, and, and playing those. Those hit pointers are no fun. That's not anything that's, again, going to uh, be a kind of anything that threatens your career, but it's going to be awfully sore. I'm sure this morning he's going to be big boy sore on that. Okay, little play action. Goes down and sets and fires, and here he is right here. That's a way to turn it on. That's mm -hmm. a way to turn it on, Curtis Mayfield. The guy got a hold of his face mask, well, and they got it caught. Yeah, we'll be able to see that real clearly here now, on this the is, they, now, This too. is pretty right here. Play action. He kind of There he is. There comes Earl. Boy, throws that ball. You hit this guy in stride, and it's going to be off to the races against virtually anybody. And he gets strung out. And he can run. You can see right there, he just kind of ran out of field. There There's the, the face mask call. We've got the ball down in there again. 36 yards. Now we're down at the five yard line. Turn around him and pitch it. Gerald gets outside and makes a few yards. Well, Gerald, don't let him knock you back the other way. Vernon Brown, that's a way to throw your body into the end zone. Nice drive, nice operation. Here's a repeat of the touchdown. Okay, there we go. That's a way to get up and over. That boy, Vernon Brown, good drive. 65 yards in seven plays. Brown with a touchdown. Go and you go for two. The chart said go for two. We got one of those little charts up there like everybody else has it. <laughs> you know, I hate numbers, addition and subtraction. I can't figure it out. I just asked somebody what the chart says. And they said go for two. So I hold up two fingers like I know what I'm doing. And uh, we go for two. It was executed well. And now we got a, a good lead. Here he comes. He's going to run out of his end zone right here. Ah, there you go. Uh, I believe that might have been Scott Harmon, one of our freshmen right here. Come on, fellas, that a boy, George Bright. Uh, th this is, I tell you what, watch, watch it. We got a repeat here. This is, this is a nice play, a boy, George. <coughs> Satterwhite, because he can, Satterwhite's getting a good push up inside. See, the guy starts to step up and can't because he sees Satterwhite and forces him right into George Bright. Now we got a safety. Uh, that a boy, that's good. Now we, we force them to kick the free kick. They elect to punt the ball. Okay, and we're going to take it. As we get a little bit of a return right in here. Come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. Now we've got to hold on to that ball. And we've got good field position again. Okay, now we're going to come back and let's set. Okay, we're going to try to go deep, and, and Matt Joe's got whipped on the backside, and we take a sack. <clears throat> we thought, really, if we could have protected effectively, uh, Curtis or one of these guys could run by them really when we wanted to, and I, mean, I, and I was I was kind of leading the charge, saying just kind of fire one deep and let's see what will happen here. Overthrew this ball, I thought that was really about one of the few times that we had somebody open, Earl overthrew it. Okay, let's get the kick off. The, the, with Scott Webb banged up, and we still did use him some as a snapper, but that got a little bit iffy and probably will be next week on some stuff there. Okay, trying to run the draw, not much here. There's Tracy Price, Michael Woolridge, Chris Calhoun. <clears throat> okay, we got, you see Roland Scott, we've got some other people in the ball game. Fumble, we've got the ball. Reuben Oliver, good job, fellas. We've got the, see, I mean, we actually, you know, the guy didn't ever go crazy and just throw the ball right to us. Other than Jay made a good break. They didn't turn the thing over very much, but that a boy, good job, defense. That's a way to turn the ball over. We've got it down our eye end of the field. Nice run here by Vernon Brown, that a boy, Vern. Good job. Again, I've said this nine. several times, but Vernon played a nice ball game. We turn a guy loose and, and make a first mm -hmm. down, but <clears throat> uh, yeah, we're moving it fairly consistently. Turn another guy loose, get hit in the backfield. Uh, you can see now they're, 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 they're trying to blitz ever down, which is to be expected. Nice job, nice run, Vernon, that a boy, that a boy. Nine more. So we're, we're moving it fairly effectively. Third and five. Uh, ah, see, yeah, third, see, now we take that guy runs upfield. We can't get to him. You got to come in there and kick a field goal. He make that? No, sir. Yeah, yeah, we got to kick those. I can't remember. Yeah, you get that ball down that infield, you got to take advantage of it. Okay, he's got a little drop roll, comes out, fires the ball. You can see he's kind of going right by people. But uh, uh, you go, four man rush, got a little stunt going on. That a boy, stay with him, fellas, stay with him. See, if you can get them running around that much, eventually it's going to tell on them, which I think it did. Here again, they run the draw. Good reaction by Tracy Price. They don't make much on that. Uh, Three and seven. Third and seven. Coach. He's coming back. Set, throw, throw it in there. Yeah, third and seven at this stage of the ball game. Something that you got to live with if, you, if, you, if you're not good enough to blitz very much. Throws there. Miss a tackle. Come on here, Jay Fleshman. Can't do that sort of thing. They, uh, you know, if we make the tackle back in there, we're in pretty good shape. They'll run a little draw play. Come on, let's do a better job getting off blocks there, men. 
Richie Ainsley made the play. Going back, they're throwing, throwing it every down. Come on, Ruben, come on, men, there we go. Ah, this thing here got in a scramble situation. We blew a coverage back over there between Joe King and Werner. They try to go for two, and, and we stop them. I, you know, stand over there where I was, I didn't, I didn't think really any way you're going to lose the ball game. And they could, but although they come in here, well, they did a nice job. This kid did a nice job executing this onside kick. And, you know, we you know, mess around, get the ball here. You got to get those kind of things fielded. Okay, here he come. Again, they're running a little drop roll. He fires deep, and we're going to make a nice interception. Who is this right Mike there? Clark. Mike Clark. Okay, good job, Mike. Less than a minute to go. <clears throat> Pretty much wraps it up. Good job. We've got a lot of people around the ball. That's a way to go up aggressively, Mike. Nice job of getting the ball down. That a boy, fellas. So now we're going to come in and, and run the clock out, and the Cowboys win the ball game. 33-23 is the final. Oklahoma State moves to 2-1 and one on the year. We'll be back right after this. Oklahoma State beats Northern Iowa by 10, and Pat, you had over 450 yards total offense in that ball. Well, we only turned the ball over once on Gerald's fumble. Again, pleased with Earl's initial start. Uh, pleased with quite a few things. Again, uh, I told the squad afterwards, Robbie, you know, don't ever apologize for a win. Sure, mm -hmm. we got a number of things that we can get better at. If we had probably won convincingly, then we would have probably thought we were any good. <laughs> and, uh, but I think we, as long as we keep the attitude, we got to fight and scratch for everything, and we approach it that way. We'll have a chance. We'll talk about TCU a little bit later down the line. I'm concerned about some injuries, which I don't really know a lot about at this point in time. Webb's knee, Parker's knee, Parker. Curtis's hip, and stuff like that. Uh, but we went out, and, and I think we got some things done, and we're still in the very early stages of development. When you have to juggle lineups around because of injuries, it sometimes hurts the continuity, but that's part of football, part of college football. So uh, we'll see. But if our guys will keep the right attitude, again, and, and, and do the things that, that you've got to do, we'll continue to improve. But there were some things that came out of this football game that, that impressed me. All right. Oklahoma State puts 33 points on the board, and, and the defense did the job, especially in the fourth quarter. And, that, uh, and the defense provides us our play of the game this week. It comes on the second play in the fourth quarter. Northern Iowa deep in their own territory. Well, again, this was a nice break. Uh, I'd like to see Jay come on down there and score. But again, you, you, you got to get you a few of these. Somebody's going to put the ball in the air this many times. Eventually, they're going to try to force it where it's not supposed to. And now, again, uh, you make a good break, good play. Uh, you got the ball down your end of the field, and you know, I thought that was fairly significant. You bet. Cowboys get a field goal out of it, and the defense continued to play well, and Oklahoma State ended up winning 33-23. Uh, when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit about the Cowboy coaching staff. The Pat Jones Show continues in just a minute. Oklahoma State head coach Pat Jones is a veteran of the coaching business. He's been doing this for more than 20 years. There are several new members to Coach Jones' staff this year, and the youngest member of the coaching staff is a young man who is near and dear to Cowboy fans. For more than three years, Mike Gundy was the starting quarterback for Oklahoma State. His accomplishments have been well documented. He was a winner both on and off the field. When his playing days came to an end last year, he ended up holding 23 school records and nine Big 8 conference records. Gundy was the most prolific offensive player to ever compete in the Big 8 conference. A possible career in the National Football League never happened because of a knee injury. In February of this year, Oklahoma State called and said there was a job available. Gundy wasted no time in accepting the position of receivers coach. Anytime a 22-year-old gets a chance to start at the Division I level uh, is basically unheard of, and especially at this university, it was a great honor for me uh, to be able to start at this level, and it was something I couldn't turn down. Even during his college days, Gundy knew he wanted to coach football. During the week, he coaches the receivers. During the game, he communicates with offensive coordinator Jeff Bauer, relays signals to the quarterback, and helps get the proper substitutions in the game. It has been an easy transition from player to coach. Coaches have complained, my coaches, that I've always done too much coaching, so I think I've done a pretty good job. I uh, went to the Dallas Cowboys training camp and learned quite a bit down there about the wide receiver position. Coach Bauer, who coach to wide receivers his first two years of coaching college at Southern Miss. He's helped me a lot 
with technique towards the wide receiver position. So I've learned as much as I as much as I can, and you know I explain to my players that that uh, I'm going to be learning as much from them as they are from me, and we try to work together as a unit, and I try to express to them what it's like to play college football. It's a challenge to be able to teach somebody to go out and excel and do the correct things on Saturday versus being able to go out and maybe not practice, practice as hard as you should have and go out at Saturday and just do it yourself. So from the standpoint that it's more challenging for me to try to be able to put that into my players to go out and play well. Gundy admits there is plenty for him to learn about the coaching profession and the game of football. He is in hopes his competitiveness and knowledge of the game will allow him to be as successful a coach as he was a player. I'm trying to gather all the information I can, hopefully learn what it's like to be at the college level in coaching, move on to offensive coordinator, get experience there, and hopefully end up being a head coach somewhere someday. Did Mike coach too much when he was playing? I thought he was a head coach when he was a freshman, I think. <laughs> Robbie, you know, th there are people, Mike's 23 now, you know, there's a lot of people, or a number of people, when they graduate from college, they get commissioned second lieutenants or ensigns. I mean, there's some fellas in the Middle East that, that are doing a whole lot more than Mike's doing at the same age he's doing right now. So don't ever you know, think that Mike's too young, or anybody's too young if you're the right type of person. If you're bright and work hard, Mike's a hard worker. You know, again, there you get some people get commissioned and going to do, right. like I say, a lot more heavy right. duty things than trying to take teach some guys how to tuck the ball away or something. But if you're if it, if you're good enough at any age, you'll surface and do well. I like that attitude. The Oklahoma State Cowboys go on the road to take on TCU. We'll talk about the frogs when we come back. Oklahoma State will go to TCU and Fort Worth with a record of two and one. Uh, TCU is 1-1 one one on the year, uh, lost to Washington State, beat Missouri in Columbia. Uh, they had the week off. Uh, Pat, how much do you know about that? Well, several things strike me about TCU, Robbie. Uh, th they lost to Washington State, but now Washington State had BYU on the ropes right. yesterday. TCU comes back, and I think they were down 19 points in the, in the fourth quarter, come back and win the game at Columbia. Uh, had an open date last week. Without, I could look at their roster, and there's some familiar names on it because we recruit, recruit against them. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the other thing that strikes me as being significant, we've got a lot of guys on our squad from the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex area that have a chance to play in front of their families, in front of their high school coaches, this sort of stuff. So, so that's a big deal. We've got a lot of uh, OSU alumni in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, that, that in, in the Texas areas, that now have a chance to see us play. We'll take a lot of people down there, hopefully. This is a very big ball game. If somehow we can find a way to win this game and get to three and one, and we've got a chance. Again, we're going to have to probably adjust to some injury situations, keep on improving. These guys will probably be better than anything we've played, save Florida. And they, they've got a little bit of momentum coming out of that, that Missouri victory themselves had a week to rest up. Immensely big ball game. Again, I don't know how we can do it at this point, but somehow, somehow we've got to try to find a way to win. Well, some momentum was started against Northern Iowa as the Cowboy offense put some points on the board and the defense played well, especially in the fourth quarter. Hopefully the Cowboys can build on that momentum as they go on the road to take on TCU. That wraps it up for this time for Pat Jones and Oklahoma State University. I'm Robbie Robertson. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody.